everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my Madden NFL 19 connected franchise mode with the Denver Broncos. That was a mouthful. Uh, this is episode 3, so if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist on my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click the notification bell to know when I come out with new videos. And if you like what you see, um, click the thumbs up button, leave it in comments below. And here we are for week three against the Ravens. We are 2-0. Ravens are 2-0 as well. We're going to be playing in Baltimore. But before we get started, let's take a look at our injuries. Um, I think there's more injuries that came to the team and that just hurt us some more. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, again, we have Shaquille Barrett out for the season. Uh, we have Derek Wolf out for two more weeks. Uh, Royce Freeman, three. Uh, Case Keenan for four more weeks. Um, because of that, I actually did pull a trade off of the Jets. That's what I was going to tell you guys. Um, I landed Teddy Bridgewater from the Jets. Um, you know, I uh, I think this is kind of like an emergency move, but if Keenum doesn't really pan out for me, I think Teddy's there for me. So I think this is a good move for my part, and um, I just want to keep winning, basically. Um, so it's it's interesting that I was able to pull this off, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean we're, we're gonna see how well Teddy can go, and then when Keenan comes back, let's see who can really be the star for the team. But uh, here we are for this game against the Baltimore, like I said, and uh, I shall see you guys at uh, MNT Bank Stadium. They tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the right. Oh, that's a big sack and a fumble. Go. No one's touching him. And that's a big fumble recovery by Shane Ray. Fumble by Flacco all the way in the back, and Shane Ray was able to recover. The defense of the Broncos shows up here in this clutch moment in the first quarter. There you go. Fight for the yards, fight for the yards. He gets away for the first down. That is Huerman catching Teddy Bridgewater's first reception as a Bronco. Or rather as Jake Butt. Oh my gosh. What kind of pass is that, Teddy? I tried to zip it and somehow it just floated over there. As an interception, so the Ravens get the ball back. But sometimes we see through that sack. It's second and twenty-one. Second down, Bridgewater. Ooh, what a catch! Oh no, it's dropped. Teddy Bridgewater with a bad start to this game, one for four. Uh, injuries left and right. Ooh, that's a pick! That's a pick! That is Bradley Roby with an interception! What a catch! A little bit. Set up for a field goal and it's good. Broke three nothing here in the first. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fix, and the increases like they were able to exploit right there. Oh, and there's a sack by Brandon Marshall. That is a big loss of eight. And we're gonna try to get the ball back here. Oh no. As soon as I threw it, it was going to be interception. That's Mosley's second interception. Interception. Third and seven. We need to stop them here. Fourth field goal. And that stops them. A third and a fourth and four. So we're going to try to block the field goal here. Two minute warning. 
and after interception, they were unable to capitalize. Excuse me, until they hit this field goal here. And it's good. It's gonna be three to three. Uh, three to three ball game here in the second quarter. There is a lack of offense on both sides. Damn it! After giving up, uh, after giving the ball away for a third time, just in the first half, Baltimore is gonna go for this field goal, and it's gonna be good. It's gonna be six nothing at the end of the first half, and I think I might put in Paxton Lynch. There's been a lot of weak throws, which I don't get. It's been a lot of floaters. Ooh, Demarius Thomas goes for the play action pass. This is gonna be a touchdown. That is a long play for Paxton Lynch and the Broncos, and that is Demarius Thomas with a 62 yard touchdown. I saw a Blitz coming. And decided to just to play action. They fell for it, and now it's gonna be ten to six. That was just two plays and sixty-eight yards. Ooh, that's a pick. That is an interception by Brandon Marshall. And there's an injury to Bradley Chubb. Oh my goodness. All these injuries to the Broncos, man. This is insane. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now. Oh, this could be a long rush for Damian Williams. That is a first down. Ooh, that's a touchdown! That was such a bad pass, under pressure, but that is Emmanuel Sanders for a touchdown. And that is a sack. That is Maponga Sr. with a big sack in the backfield. And that is another sack. This time by Brandon Marshall. That is sack number two. Oh my gosh, terrible pass. That is the Broncos' fourth interception of the game, first for Paxton Lynch. And he gets the ball right back to them. That is a big stop by Von Miller in the backfield. Flacco and the Ravens are really pushing, so that's what we needed. Excuse me. And that is another stop, this time by Paco. That is completion, but that is a stop, forcing to a fourth and goal. They're going to have to settle for another field goal. With less than five minutes left here in the game. No, come on! Another pick! That's three interceptions by Mosley just today. I'm not looking properly at the defense. Oh, 
And that's a touchdown. My turnovers, my turnovers in the fourth quarter have bit me straight in the ass. Now they're going to go for two-point conversion. What am I going to do here? I have to stop them. Right here and then. <laughs> and wow, he drops the ball. I thought he caught it. So we are still up by two as opposed to a tie game. Let's get that first down, man. Let's get the first down. Here we go. Let's get the first down and we... Well, I'm not sure. Very close, fourth and in inches. Gotta burn as much time as we can. Fourth and in inches, I think we can get it. I think we get it. And if we don't, we'll be at the 45 yard line for the Broncos, so it'll be a little difficult here. Um, we gotta get this. They have no timeout, so we really need to get this, and we basically win the game. And we get the first down, and we will win this game for the Broncos, 17-15. Lots of turnovers by the quarterbacks, two by Flacco, two by uh, Bridge, three by Bridgewater, two by um, two by Lynch. It's not a pretty game. It's not a pretty game. But that will be the end of it. The Broncos will win, as I said, 17-15, giving Baltimore their first loss of the season. And, yeah, that's just a good start by the Broncos, even though we've been hit heavy with a lot of injuries. Um, let's take a look at the stats here now. Come on. All right, there you go. And we will take a look at... Um, stats per player and per team so we had a, a total of 192 offensive yards yeah 245 this is pathetic this is a this is a sad display of offense on both teams um let's see we had five turnovers they had three that a fumble and a uh they had a fumble and the two interceptions um, let's see Their player stats Joe Flacco, 20 for 38, uh, two interceptions, one touchdown. Paxton Lynch, um, two touchdowns, two interceptions, uh, 78 yards. Bridgewater playing at garbage, seven for 19, um, three interceptions. Terrible. Uh, in terms of rushing, um, it was Damian Williams leading the way for both teams, 40 yards. And then D'Angelo uh, Henderson with 26 yards. Then moving to receiving crew, uh, Demarius Thomas with 87 yards with that uh, long touchdown. And then follow Michael Crabtree with 79 yards. Willie Sneed the fourth, 50. Um, Manuel not really getting into it, only two catches for 13 yards. Um, let's take a look at the defense here for the Broncos. We got. Brandon Marshall leading the way for the tackles. Um, sacks, it was Brandon Marshall with two sacks, followed by uh, Mapongo Sr. and Vaughn Miller. In terms of the interceptions, we had one by Bradley Rogie and uh, Brandon Marshall. He was the player of the game for this man. He had his, he had his, uh, he had his, his stats all over the game defensively. So he had to be a player of the game. And uh, yeah, man. That was not a pretty game. Not in the slightest. So, let's see. We got some weekly goals going here. Get four sacks. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, we can upgrade Damian Williams. Let's see what we can upgrade. Elusive back. Power back. Steven back. Let's do power back. That upgrades up to an 80 overall. Look at that. Uh, increasing lumber breaking attack, carrying by one, and trucking by two. Uh, Stanzi Mapanga Sr. Uh, we could do a speed rusher, because that fits the scheme. 
Finesse moves by two, play recognition by one, tackle by one. Dealman, JJ Dealman. Playing center. Upgraded, awareness, block, pass block, and power block. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. Um, let's check out the injuries. One new injury. This is two. Nobody big. Please, nobody big. Hold on. This is old. This is old. This is old. Jordan Taylor, who dislocated his ankle right on the receiving a uh, punt return, out five weeks. Uh, just a bad luck, man. Bad luck. Um, so we're going to advance into the next week where we'll be facing an AFC West matchup against the Chiefs. Um, it's going to be tough, man. Uh, because we have we have um, we have injuries and all that stuff, and I don't know. Uh, let's see. Derek Wolf has a high chance of re injury. Of course, I'm gonna start the backup, man. Okay, so that's that, and then we have some negotiations to take care of. Who do we? Who can we negotiate with? We got. My boy, Matt Paredes here. Let's re-sign him. Mm -hmm. He didn't like it. Oh, okay. And then let's try to re-sign the Mata Peko. And he more money okay so I can't offer anybody else any new contracts but um, that will be it for this episode of my Madden NFL connected franchise with the Denver Broncos um, yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed it click the thumbs up button leave any comments below and uh, yeah take it easy guys peace